Is Figma on its way out? That's the question I'm gonna go ahead and answer in today's video. But before I can answer it, I wanna show you this project that I've been working on. This is actually a course-based project I'm going to be releasing at the end of this month. And it's basically a fun experimental UI kind of featuring the new capabilities that we have as UI UX designers with tools like Rive and Unicorn Studio. And upon beginning this project a few days ago, my first gut instinct as a UI UX designer is to step into Figma first and create the concept. Figma is an open world canvas and you can very quickly iterate your ideas and just get something knocked out that's really polished before you're ready to implement. So after creating this here in Figma, then the next step is to recreate it in Rive. Now, Rive, like Figma, is or allows you to design in an open world canvas where you don't have to utilize auto layout like in Figma. Rive has their layout features as well. You don't have to use those. So in a way, Rive is sort of like Figma, if you think about it, but with two advantages. These two advantages are, first, is that anything you create in Rive doesn't necessarily have to be just relegated to a mock-up or a prototype that then has to be implemented somewhere else. It is production ready in Rive. It can work on your browsers, it can work on phones, it can work on different gaming platforms. There's a lot of stuff that Rive can export to and it's, and it's a single source of truth. You don't have to have multiple variations for each platform. Now, the other advantage that Rive has over Figma is the animation and prototyping capabilities and the logic. I'll be honest, when it comes to that topic, Rive makes Figma look like absolute child's play. So that begs the question, if we can now, especially with the use of feathering, we can create glows and blurs and shadows and all that cool stuff. Is there really a use case for Figma? Because really you could just design your entire UI, UX in Rive and use it as a replacement for Figma even if you don't intend on using Rive in the end result. Uh, and you would be able to create something that's way more accurate to whatever you envision, like in the browser, like if it's a, like a landing page or something, than you would in Figma because of their very limited animation capabilities. So that's the question I'm putting out there today. Am I right in thinking this? Yes, there's a few things that Rive absolutely needs. It needs a component system. We don't have that yet. But to the frequency at which Rive issues updates and new features, I mean, it's every week. Typically, there's something that's new. Um, so I know that the component system eventually will be a thing, um, along with a lot of other things they're working on, like data binding, making things even more logic driven and giving you way more abilities. So. What do you all think? Is there something here? Do you see Figma as being a, a secondary player now and perhaps on its way out with tools like Rive coming out? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm super excited to show you all the final version of that project I'm working on. I'll share more stuff. Make sure you follow me on X and all that, and I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.